Hey guys, today I'll be teaching you how to create, burn, and mount ISO image files using Power ISO. Now if you want to create an ISO, you just get a group of files together. Right click, go to Power ISO, add to image file. And it will ask you saved image file and you want the dot ISO. You want to tell it where to save it. You can press OK. Now it will tell you how big the file is down at the bottom see it's too big for a CD so you want to go to DVD and now it's only using 28% so it's burnable to a DVD you have to pay attention to that otherwise it won't work now I've already got a bejeweled ISO created so what you what I want to do with this is mount it I want to right click go to power ISO mount image 2 and it mounted it to my computer what mounting is, is basically making the computer think it has a CD in the CD-ROM drive when it actually doesn't. Then you can double click it and run the install like normal or whatever or you can right click it, go to open and you can see all the files on that disk that it thinks it has in the CD-ROM tray. Now whenever you're done with it, all you have to do is go back out, right click, go to power ISO, unmount image and then it will take it off. And that's very useful for running games without CDs. Like if you want to play your game without a CD, and wor or if you're worried about it getting scratched up, you can just do create an ISO and then mount it. And most games don't detect whether or not it's mountable. Now, if you want to burn it, all you have to do is, is double click it. It'll bring it up. You click burn, and then you can change your options. Uh, whatever CD-ROM drive you want to use, maximum, whatever X you want to write at, and then just click burn. And you can back up your games, CDs, whatever you need to, really. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.